Hey y'all, it is Scarlett here to do my Roses Are Red update number three. I am wearing a shirt I stole from Cuddle Dragon and no makeup because it's just that kind of day. I am driving the struggle bus right now. I'm just not feeling great, but I really wanted to do my update, so I'm here. So, you know, just bear with me and the hagtastic appearance. Okay, so last time, you know, the first item is my subculture electric. Uh, last time I had used it seven times. This time I have used it nine times, which is good, but I wish I was a little bit closer to finishing. It's still got a decent dip in it, but like, I really want to hit pan. I want to hit pan in this. <laughs> And it's driving me crazy, so maybe I can do that before the project is over. But I do love this shade. I enjoy wearing it quite a bit. I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup this past week because uh, I haven't felt well. So that is kind of putting a damper on my progress in this project. But I'm doing okay. That's, that's ten times. No, nine times. Okay, so nine times for that one. I've got, let's see, it's... I'm filming this on the 2nd, so I have 12 more days to wear that five more times. Hopefully I can do it. Okay, the uh, second thing is something that makes you feel confident. That is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Cleanser. I love it. I talk about it all the time. Not going to bore you with it. I have used this, let's see, last time I had used it five times. This time, I have used it 10 times. Um, so, I'm pretty proud of that. 10 times for this one. If I can get, on the ones that I haven't rolled out yet, if I can get up to 10 on all of these, I'll be really thrilled. Uh, but the ones that I've, I've already hit 10 on, if I can get up to 14 on those, I'll be happy. But yeah, so like the next one is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I have only used this six times, y'all. Um, I don't always put it on before I do my eye looks for my videos because I figure I'm not going to be wearing the eyeshadow for that long. I'm just going to be filming, so I don't really take the time to do this step, especially if I don't feel well or I'm tired or whatever. So yeah, last time I had used it four times. This time, I have used it six times. So, we're going to see how that goes. If I use it four more times, I'll be satisfied with that. And the next item is, you know, I said I did that one for an item that takes forever to use up. And <laughs> apparently, I wasn't wrong. So, the irony, right? The next one is Too Faced Pout About It. It is a... An item in floral packaging or that's embossed with something floral or you know it's got a floral thing and um, you can already tell like if you look at it I don't know if you can see that but like it's kind of flattened out a little bit so you can tell I've been using it and this is growing on me like I wasn't too crazy about the tone of it when I first got it but it's growing on me um I'll put on a little bit now um, I don't normally wear things that are this subdued on my lips. Oh, and this counts as a use. So, um, I don't normally wear things this subdued, but it is growing on me. Um, I do sometimes like to wear the tiramisu gloss over it, but it doesn't look bad. It's just not what I'm used to. And I think that's my issue with it, is it's just not what I'm used to from a lipstick. So, um, it's growing on me, and I love it, love, love, love it as a cream blush. So, I have used it once as a cream blush. It's great. So, last time I had used it twice, <laughs> which was not great. And this time, since I just put it on, I have used it seven times. I'm going to change that in here. I had it as six, and I just used it seven times. Yay! So that's 
That's going okay. I just need to use it seven more times in 12 days. Hmm, I can totally do that, right? But if I use it three more times in the 12 days, I'll be satisfied. Okay, so the next one is the Wet n Wild BB Cream. Last time I had used it, it's right here. Last time I had used it three times. This time I have used it six, so I doubled my usage. But I only used it six times. And I need to use it nine more times in 12 days. Or at least four more times in 12 days. I can use it four times in 12 days, I'm sure. But I have been mixing this with some something else that's in the project that you guys don't know about. So, yeah. But six times for this. And my screen's about to go out. Okay. So, that was the Wet n Wild BB Cream. Multi-use product. Uh, next, the Fig Blush. I think you guys are actually going to be surprised about this one. Um, here's my Fig Blush. I don't know if you remember what it looked like last time. But, it pretty much looks the same. If I can get it open. Uh, there we go. Pretty much looks the same because I've only used it one more time. I love this blush. But that's how little I have worn makeup. I have only worn this blush one more time. I wore the Pout About It as blush one time. And I'm not sure what I wore the other time. I don't know if I wore anything the other time. Hmm, I don't know. But I've only worn it one more time. Yikes. So, uh, I gotta get to work, y'all. <laughs> um, but that's, well, it's a total of nine times. I could theoretically wear this six more times in 12 days, theoretically, depending on how I start feeling in the next few days. Okay. And then let's see. The next item is the Juice Beauty Moisturizer, which I rolled out already. You guys knew about that. Then the uh, Nicole Miller Blueberry Orchid. I had used it seven times and I rolled it out because I've used it 14. I think I'd used it 14 by my update number two. And then Number nine is interesting. <laughs> okay, number nine was originally a marble product, and there is so much irony in my life, y'all. Um, the screenshot that is my um, video, my thumbnail for my update number two video is of the Wild and Alluring palette and me picking the shade that I was going to use because it was either a marbled product or two products that you mix together. I decided not to use the Wild and Alluring, and I decided to use um, these two products instead. This is my Ulta Beauty Color Correcting Foundation Stick, and it's got, you can't see it right now, but it's got like a green core in the middle, and the Becca Moonstone Liquid Illuminator, I think it's Liquid Illuminator Highlighter, whatever. So I'm mixing these two together and sometimes I mix in a little bit of the Wet n Wild BB Cream as well. And I do that uh, because this, um, that is my password too. Don't lie to me phone. What? That is my pen. Don't lie. Oh, no, that's not my pen. What is wrong with me? Okay. This is your brain on fibromyalgia. Um, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so I rolled out the eyeshadow before I even used it one time and decided to start using this. And as you can see, I've got some pretty good progress on the, um, highlighter. That's how much I've used of it. And this was brand new. So I've used quite a bit of it. I've used quite a bit of both of these because I'm trying to get rid of this because I don't like the way this makes my skin look. It makes my skin look so dry. 
So, hate it, want it out, trying to use it up. And I'm probably rolling those two into Partners in Cream once. What is happening to my camera? There. Was it sliding the whole time? Or did it just slide just then? I don't even know. I'm going to have to go back and look at this and watch it and see if my camera was like sliding <laughs> during this whole video because that's my life. Okay. I don't cut a lot of stuff out. I let y'all see it because it's funny and I like to be real. So, I, and it's not because I don't want to do editing. I can totally edit stuff out, but I just think it's funnier to be like, yep, that's yeah, this is me. This is how I am. I am a disaster perpetually happening. Watch it happen. Okay, so the next one, oh, and I've used the uh, Ulta stick and the Becca high highlighter four times. So I need to either use them six or 10 more times. Um, it's probably gonna be six at most if I can even use it that many times in the next 12 days. Um, I'm probably not going to make it on that one. I'm I'm not even going to pretend. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to try. Okay, like I, this is not me giving up. But I'm just being realistic. Okay, the next one is, let's see, um, the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip and Berry Healthy. Last time I had used it five times. This time I have used it 10 times, which makes me happy. And this is something neutral because on me, this is a neutral color. I would show it to you, but I already have lipstick on. So, but mixed together, these two are really nice actually. Um, and then, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you mixed together <laughs> because that'll make 11. Is this cheating? Does this count as cheating? Let me know in the comments if you think this is cheating. <laughs> I don't really care if it is cheating. Like, I don't know. It's fun. But yeah, I wore this combo in um, a couple of my other videos that I filmed back to back. You can tell I did that because I'm wearing the same thing in them. Um, <laughs> not like it's a secret. <laughs> um, and I really like the way it looked. So, 11 times for the Physician's Formula. Very healthy. 11. 11 times. It counts. Um, the, next is, the next one is the Deuce Palette. Last time I had used it five times and this time I have used it 10 times and I mean like I don't have pan in anything but I've used it 10 times. I really like it. I like using this as an all over lid shade if I just want to do a simple look. This is nice as an all over lid shade. I have yet to really dip into the green. I have dipped into it one time. And that's it. But I'd like to try it out some more. Maybe I will the rest of this week since I've used it, what, 10 times? I have four more times I can use it in the next 12 days. And I've decided that I think I'm going to use this one called Puffs, I believe. No. Crim. It's called Crim. Which one's Puffs? Oh, the this one's Puffs. Um, I've decided that I'm going to use Crim as a blush since it doesn't really show up on my eyes. And I think it'll be a beautiful blush shade. So I'm gonna make it work. Um, by the way, fun fact, I looked it up. Deuce in French means fresh. And that's one of the reasons why all of the shades are named after desserts. It's like fresh desserts. And there's nothing a fat girl loves more than dessert. So, well, this fat girl, okay? I can't speak for all fat girls. I can't, but this one is a fat girl with sweet tooth. So, me and the Deuce palette, we're getting along very well. 
But uh, yeah, so I've decided I'm going to use that as a blush. And that might be one of my uses in the next 12 days. Shh. Um, okay, so number 12 is the NYX Cosmic Metals in Celestial Star. The blue lipstick. Uh, last time I had worn it one time. And now I have worn it six times. And if I can get a couple of videos up this week or filmed this week or by the 14th, whatever, I will probably have worn it at least, let's see, six, seven more times. I can do it. I can do this. I can wear this 14 times in the next 12 days. I can do it if I'm filming because I have some stuff in the works. So... I can do it. Um, and I do love this. I love the way this looks. I really do. I love that it's sparkly and it's just really pretty. I'm, I really am enjoying that blue is the Pantone color of the year. Maybe I'm the only one. I still haven't gotten any confirmation of that or, you know, denial of that, but I am enjoying it. So the next one is the, um, a product that you would repurchase and that is the NYX gloss in the butter gloss in tiramisu I have used that one 14 times that is my third product that I have rolled out of this project so I'm happy about that and uh, so I don't have it with me it lives in my purse um, and I have used it since I rolled it out but I just I'm not concentrating on it as much. I'm trying to use the Berry Healthy if I want to put something on my lips to moisturize them. So, and I'm working through a Sunbum Lip Balm in Strawberry. I do like the Sunbum Lip Balm. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it compared to Pacifica because Pacifica has always been my favorite. If you watched my Empties video, you know that I finished a Pacifica Lip Balm in January. Yay. Um, so yeah, but, um, the physician's formula, healthy, uh, lip, whatever it's called. Yeah. I think it's called healthy lip, uh, is very moisturizing. So I do enjoy it as a liquid lipstick and it doesn't rub off. It doesn't wear off terribly. It's kind of in between a bullet lipstick and a liquid lipstick. If that makes any sense at all. It's like, I don't know. It's not a terribly drying formula, but it does wear off some. So, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. Okay, and the last one is the Wet n Wild uh, Midnight Moon Highlighter from the Midnight Mermaid collection. And I did use some of this to Franken um, a mineral foundation. So that's why there's some missing here and some missing there. But I, I held on to my area where I was working it down, like wearing it down to hit pan. So <laughs> I kind of like, you know, just kind of chiseled it away around it. Because uh, I do. I, wanna, I want to legitimately hit pan. And I don't want all of the work that I've done since I got this highlighter to be in vain. So yes, I chiseled around my little worn down area <laughs> so uh yeah i have used this um nine times so five more times and i mean i can use this as an inner corner highlight i can use this as an eyeshadow i can use this all kinds of different ways but i do love it as a highlighter uh it's very sparkly it's very attention grabbing like it's it's kind of like champagne pop on acid <laughs> it's like whoo you know you can really really see this one where a champagne pop uh from becca is a little bit more subtle okay so all right i am glad i decided to film because sometimes even though i don't feel great filming talking to people feeling like i'm talking to people does make me feel better um i love people i love interacting with people 
and I do become a little more animated when I'm thinking about talking to people or I'm explaining something or, you know. So, yeah, thank you for being there to watch this and give me a reason to film and give me a reason to feel better. I do appreciate it. My stomach was hurting a little bit before I started filming and, and it doesn't hurt anymore. So, yay, that's, that's good. Um, but, anywho, I hope you enjoyed my update. Stay tuned for the finale on the 14th. Oh, boy. Y'all, I don't know what to do with myself. I am just, I'm a mess. That's what I am. I'm just a mess. Um, I don't know if I'm succeeding. I don't know if I'm failing. I have no idea. But I am proud that I worked through a lip balm. I'm proud that I got a face scrub out of my life that I didn't want to use anymore that I've had for two and a half years. So I'm making some progress and I am accomplishing some things. So, I mean, I guess I'm proud of myself. I guess so far 2020 has been productive. So I hope it is a little bit more productive once winter officially passes things will be better um it brings on fibro flares for some reason anytime we have pressure coming in like a cold front or rain we have flares uh for some reason uh my sister my mom and my aunt we all have it and for some reason we're more fatigued we hurt more we are just generally cranky. Um, I'm not really going to go into all of the symptoms. But it's just basically your symptoms are magnified when you're having a flare. Because uh, I am going to post a video about what it's like to have fibromyalgia at a later date. I am trying to put up content similar to what I used to put up. And kind of intersperse it with my newer project pan stuff but it's I mean there are only so many days in the week and I don't want you guys to be overwhelmed with content so and I'm trying to like you know spread it out a little bit and you know not post the same thing or the same theme like more than once a week um, except for the inventory videos so anywho I'm gonna shut up now and I hope that you're enjoying what I'm posting. If you do, please, please give it a thumbs up. That is super helpful. Leave a comment. If you feel like it, subscribe and you can see more of me. And we can interact and hopefully we can be friends. Because you can always use another friend. Uh, I hope everybody's doing okay. And I'll see you again soon. And I hope that you're well until then.